All right, so let's go into the test results for the schema test we did. Now, we did two different tests. So we did the first test on Yoast schema versus manual schema. And I did that about two months ago where we did that live. And I also did, you know, does schema increase rankings, which was one month ago. Two different websites uh, where we put this website, we put schema on that didn't have it. The so other website one, 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 one. had Yoast schema on. We changed the Yoast schema to regular schema to see what the difference would make. So let's go over the results now. Now, this one was for the term Landenberg SEO. So if we go to Google, I own you know the top eight listings for Landenberg SEO because they're all like test sites. So the one we picked was this Landenberg SEO dummy site, which had Yoast SEO on it. It had Yoast SEO schema. I took that off and put on manual schema. And I showed that in this video right here. I'll put a link in the description to that video if you want to watch it. So let's now go search for Landenberg SEO. And we're going to look to see where Landenberg SEO dummy is because it was number seven before. And we see it's now number two. Now, of course, my site's above it, and I got all my sites here below it. Uh, so I got all those in the top five are mine, six mine, seven mine, eight mine. So again, I still have the top eight spots, but what happened was Landenberg SEO dummy moved from number seven to number two, which is really interesting. The reason I like this test is because all of these sites I own, so I know I'm not doing anything to them. There's been no changes done to these sites besides this one change over the past couple years. Like I haven't really done anything to these sites. There's been no link building, no on-page changes, nothing. So it very well could be that this move up was from changing the Yoast SEO to manual SEO. All right, and I kind of showed that in the video of us doing that if you want to go watch it. Now, the second test was a little different. So the second test was putting schema on a website that didn't have it at all before. Okay, so SEOdelaware.net was ranking number four for Delaware SEO before I had no schema. I put on schema. That was, this is about a month ago, a little longer ago. And now let's go see where it is. So let's go look for Delaware SEO. And I currently cannot find this site anywhere. So it's interesting. In the first case, we switched Yoast SEO to or Yoast SEO schema to regular schema, and it moved up. It went from number seven to number two. In this case, we had no schema. We put on the same schema we put on Landenberg SEO dummy, and it moved down. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. And this site generally has been on the first page pretty much for years now. Right? It disappears here and there, and there was a core update uh, back in March was the last core update. I don't know when, it, when this disappeared. Um, I think we did this change after the core update so it shouldn't have been from that so it's really interesting we'll have to see if it comes back and we'll need some more data and i think we need to do some more tests so i want to get your guys opinions what should i test on do you want me to test more yoast to regular schema do you want me to test more having no schema to putting on schema to see if the website drops one big test i could do is my miami site just came back miami seo site so this site is number one, two, three, four, five. Miami SEO bitch is number five again after not being around for a while. We could see if we add schema to this, if it moves up. So let's guys see. I don't know if I have Yoast schema on here or not. Let's go check it out. So let's right click and let's view our page scores source and let's look for schema. So we do have schema. We have Yoast schema on here. So one change I could make here is, again, changing this Yoast schema to regular schema to see if it moves up. Because that's a little bigger test, right? Landenberg SEO is a small term. Moving up five spots is not a huge move, right, with a term that's not that competitive. But if we did Miami SEO and we saw the same result, that would give us more conclusive evidence that going from Yoast schema to regular schema actually could be something that helps rankings. My guess is if we change Miami SEO, uh, this site right here, that it's probably not going to move. And if it does, maybe a spot or two at the very most. That would be my guess. Uh, but we could always test it and see if it's something you want to test. And I also have other test sites. What we could also do is come back to one of the Delo other Delaware sites. So if we go to Delaware SEO, since I own multiple sites on the first page, we could add a schema to them and see if anything happens. So like I own number one and two. Let's see if this site has schema on it or not. I doubt it does, the way the way it looks. Oh, 
Yeah, no schema on this site. So what we could do is add schema to Del Aracio agency and see, does it disappear or does it move up maybe ahead of my other Del Aracio site? And we can just kind of try, we need to collect some more data for this version, for both versions, I think. But we have our starting version. A little weird, this one disappeared, when the one that had no schema to having schema. And then the other one moved up. We're having no schema to changing regular schema. So a little strange there. And we can also run other tests, right? I got other, um, let me see if I have any, any sites on the page two, any test sites. Let's go look. Um... Now let's look on page three. Sometimes I just have really old test sites kind of hanging around. No, I'm not seeing any. Okay, so just those top two spots right now. But again, we could test that number two spot. I could also test uh, another Landenberg SEO site. Let's see, we could test like Landenberg SEO guy. That one's number three. Does that have schema on it? I have tons of other sites, but I just don't like revealing all my test sites publicly. All right, this has Yo schema as well. So I think the best option would be that Delaware SEO agency one or, and then maybe testing that Miami SEO one. But let me know, what do you guys want me to test? Like, what do you want to see with schema as far as testing goes? There's tons of other tests we can run. I don't think the, the results are conclusive enough to say, you know, whether it's the reason that it made SEODelaware.net disappear is not necessarily the case. A little sketchy there, because I have had a case actually before where I've added schema to a site and actually paid good money to, to do it right, like from someone who's really good at it, to a big affiliate site, and the rankings actually dropped after it was done. So pretty interesting here that this happened. If it happened again, I would be a little weary of, of using it, <laughs> I think. So maybe we need to do another test. Let me know what you think, and you know whatever people vote on, we can do it. If we get enough comments, I'll test whatever you guys want. The problem is my videos just aren't getting that many views. So if people aren't interested, I'm not going to run these type of tests. You know, They take time, take resources. You know, it's... it's um, it just, it's, it's a lot of time and resources if a lot of people aren't, aren't benefiting from it. So make sure you place a comment, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.